the roundtable meeting with private schools proprietors, stakeholders in the education sector and the Ministry of Education, being the first in the history of the state, discussed challenges and successes between the ministry and private schools as they strive to provide quality education to children in the state. State Commissioner of Education, Dr. Jamila Mohammed Ayru said, the town hall meeting is also an opportunity to review existing set standards in the education sector and to strengthen the existing relationship between private school proprietors and the ministry. She urged the proprietors to feel free and present issues affecting their relationship with the ministry so that corrections will be provided. We hope will continue, inshallah so that we will strengthen the relationship between these two important stakeholders in the education sector, the public and the private. Unless we have a common ground, we don't have anywhere to go. We will not have a common objective and common success or common results. So we have to come together, bring our hands on the same table to understand what are we even looking at? If we are partners in progress, you are supporting or complementing the effort of the government because that is what we want all of us to be in. The private school's proprietors came up with problems that include multiple taxation and dues, irregular school calendar, non-visitation by the ministry to private schools on inspection and the operation of unregistered schools in the state as well as school clustering. Multiple taxation, we pay heavily. And the reason is that most of these people that come for us to tax us, they come every year to collect money from us. And they are looking at us that we make money on a large scale. So they just charge us as they like. What I would have think she should do is that any taxation should come through the private bodies or the Ministry of Education, let them weigh it. We have 1,000 schools. If they pay for 5,000, they pay 10,000, it's good. We don't want to stop them from making their own revenue like signage, advertisements, for example. But at least they should look at that. There are 1,000 schools in Bauchi. If they pay 5,000 5, ever, 1,000 schools, we are generating 5 million from here. It's good. But when a place is collecting 30,000, their they focus only is private schools. Then there is a problem. Okay, that synergy has already been created because we are partners in progress with the government. The private schools are complementing the effort of the government. So we are here having this roundtable discussion in order to put heads together to see how we can move the education of Bauchi State to a higher and better level. On its path, the ministry presented issues bordering on late payment of annual registration by private school proprietors, non-compliance to laws governing the operation of private schools on registered schools and school curriculum. Acting heads of private schools units at the Ministry of Education, Mariam Baba said all private schools must comply with all registration guidelines. She noted that the ministry vis-a-vis -vis private schools have a role to play to improve the quality of education in the state. Director Quality Assurance of the Ministry of Education, Aisha Aminu said the existence of private schools in the state is a great achievement as they complement government's effort. Bauchi State currently has a total of 1,102 registered private schools spread across 19 out of the 20 local government areas. At the end of the over five hours meeting, the commissioner said she was happy that many of the issues raised have been attended to while others will be deliberated upon. Dr. Jamila Ayuru said the ministry will constitute a committee to investigate the issue of the registration of external candidates to write examinations in public schools. Elisabeth Ka, BATV News.